Hi everyone, my name is Allison Sagehorn. I'm the Associate Director of Outreach for the Hyder College of Business. Thank you for joining us for the Next Step webinar for Special Programs Day. We are going to have a few rotating slides here to start uh, while we give others a chance to join us here. So enjoy these uh, first few slides and we'll get started in just a few moments here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Allison Sagehorn. Uh, as the Associate Director of Outreach for the Hyder College of Business, I have the pleasure of working with all of the students and families considering business. Since you're on this webinar, you are uh, a very high achieving student uh, and are eligible for our top special programs uh, and or scholarships. So many of you have also applied to uh, the Christina M. Hickson Scholarship in Business and the Hyder College of Business Ethics and Social Responsibility Scholarship. This is the same I cr this is the same criteria used to award those scholarships. And in addition, you might um, be part of these other scholarships and special programs. Uh, the Hyder Fellows Program has two tracks, the Dean's Fellows Program and the Business Research Fellows Program, uh, Scott Scholar Scholarship, uh, and the Scott Fellows Scholarship. Uh, so by being on this webinar, uh, that means that you uh, are competing for one or multiple of these. So we're going to talk about uh, the case study, uh, both on and off campus, uh, the interview, uh, both on campus and uh, Skype interviews, what to expect in the competition, some tips, um, the afternoon in addition to uh, your interview. There are lots of different optional activities, uh, an optional overnight as well. Uh, and then when decisions are being released and those dates to keep in mind as well. So we have questions coming in and uh, hopefully we'll get to answer those 
uh, throughout this presentation as well as uh, a few afterwards. Uh, after watching this webinar, if you still have questions, we want you to be 100% comfortable, have the information you need to move forward confidently. So please do email me or give me a call. Um, my team here uh, is working on uh, getting back to all of the students and families who are excited about this. So our case study will be released on January 16th and you'll get that in your admission student portal. To give you an example, last year's case study was based on exploding cell phones. So in their challenge, they were asked, um, what is the, the ethical implication of selling a, a cell phone that would explode? Uh, and then imagine if you were the CEO or you were the chief marketing officer or even a competitor, um, what is the, the moral implication of that information and how would you move forward? Um, what would you recommend that company do or your company that you're representing do? So for the competition of those attending on campus, uh, students will work in teams of 8 to 10, and each student will choose one perspective uh, to present. So you work in the team, you both, two members can't present uh, the same point of view, so really familiarize yourself when that case study arrives, get to know those multiple perspectives. Uh, and then you will present to a panel. Uh, and then um, for students who aren't attending on campus, we give you some tips. Uh, and if you're on campus, we have current students with those groups giving those tips. So remember to introduce yourself. Remember to smile. Uh, put your best foot forward. That kind of thing. Make sure everyone is moving forward. So when you get, get the case study, um, read it definitely make any notes or comments you can bring those to campus with you um, and we look at when students present uh, not just uh, you know who is who's presenting the best but who has moral reasoning or who's you can tell who's put a lot of thought uh, into why they're answering the way they are so it really is a holistic evaluation on that So uh, business professional attire is recommended. So suits are recommended. They're not required. Uh, but uh, gentlemen, at least a shirt and a tie, hopefully a jacket. Uh, again, a suit if you have one. Uh, same for females, a suit if you have one. Uh, or a nice business dress uh, with a blazer or um, a business dress. Uh, so then when you're going over that information, review those different perspectives um, because each team member will have a different one and each team member will present um, that presentation. Each student gets 60 seconds, uh, so not long. So you can bring those notes with you, but you can't use them when you're giving your presentation. Uh, and know that whatever you think it is will likely change when you get to campus. Uh, you know, you're part of a group and really the more cohesive we see those groups work together, the better they do uh, in this activity. Um, this is something that uh, all of my interns um, participated in. Uh, some of them were awarded and some of them weren't, but they all said that it was something that helped them see their place at Creighton. So they were uh, really nervous about, but ended up being the most fun. So please go in knowing that uh, it will be um, very enjoyable as well. For those who are submitting off campus, there is not um, a huge advantage um, or a clear advantage in valuations of coming to campus. We have criteria that will fairly judge students attending and who are not attending. I would say the benefit to coming to campus is that 
working in these teams and being in this environment does inspire you. Um, but you can absolutely um, perform on equal ground when you're doing that off campus. So it's really what works best for you. If you are able to make it, please do. Um, and any student, if you need to change your RSVP, it's very important that you let us know that. If you indicated you're coming to campus, but now you can't, we need to get you uh, set up and vice versa. So otherwise, your applications will look incomplete. Um, so please do uh, email or call as soon as possible. Uh, so again, for the off-campus video submission, um, it is the same as on campus. So we'll give you those tips and you're looking at the different perspectives, um, the ethical issue. How would you recommend your company or your person in your role react? Uh, and you will take this video. It's going to be up to two minutes, um, really 60 to 90 seconds. Students on campus get 60 seconds, and then we may ask them a question. So that's why we say 60 to 90. Students, if you submit anything past two minutes, we do not use that to evaluate. Uh, we cut that off, so please do be respectful of that. Uh, and then when you go to your student portal, there'll be a button for you to upload that. So I think it's called the Hyder College of Business uh, Ethics Video Submission, something like that. And you just click there and it'll walk you through that process. So the case study requirements, again, one to two minutes. Uh, eye contact, quote unquote, is key. So be sure uh, to be looking at um, either your cell phone camera or your computer camera, um, having a clean background behind you. Uh, all of the off-campus video submissions are due by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, January 24th. Um, and just know whatever you've applied for, the one video submission is the criteria to evaluate all of those, um, as well as the Skype interview uh, or on-campus interview that we'll also talk about here in a moment. So the interview formats uh, on campus, it is a one 15 to 20 minute panel interview. Uh, there'll be a faculty member, um, probably one or two current students, maybe a staff member or alumni. Uh, and this is an opportunity for us to get to know you better. Um, so it's a question to complete this. So you need to set up a Skype name and sign up for a time. So please do that. Um, or if you're registered to attend on campus and now you have to attend off and um, do it this way, let us know. Otherwise, your um, submissions will look incomplete. Um, so we want to give you that best chance. Uh, so please do get on that. So for interview tips, again, know what's on your resume, your resume, um, be able to discuss um, all of your leadership, service, what you feel you bring to the college or these programs. Um, who do you owe your success to? Um, how have you gotten where you are? Um, be prepared to ask questions and, you know, open with a handshake and a smile. Thank the interviewers at the conclusion as well. Uh, and really just be yourself. That's what um, the interviewers are looking for, getting a, to know a sense of your personality, um, really how you approach uh, different problem solving. Um, so really just bring yourself to the interview and, and have fun with it. So again, suits are encouraged. Uh, be sure to bring copies of your resume. You have uh, multiple interviewers, so I would bring three copies of your resume uh, and then one for yourself as well. Uh, bring your questions, um, pen, paper, 
if you have received your Hyder College of Business portfolio in the mail, bring that with you. Uh, students, if you haven't received your portfolio, don't fret. We will have it here for you to pick up. Uh, so if you know what I'm talking about, portfolio, bring it. If not, know that it'll be here waiting for you. So for your Skype interview, uh, again, try to set up in a uh, quiet place, uh, plain background. Um, we've seen a variety of things in the past of, you know, family pets and cats and dogs in the background or uh, a variety of scenery or out and about. Really do approach this as you would a professional interview. Uh, so be sure to log in. Know that your Skype interviewer will initiate the call. We also, when scheduling those, do get a phone number for you as a backup. Uh, in case there is a problem, you must have your Skype interview scheduled. So if you don't, um, please do uh, go into your email. There's instructions there. Or again, if you need to change your RSVP, let me know. Um, but we do need to get you scheduled there. So when you come to the Hyder College of Business, uh, the bulk of the activities will be in the Harper Center. Uh, and so we do have parking right outside. All of this information will come to with your detailed schedule on the 16th. So just to kind of go over an overview, our day is going to start bright and early at 745 Sarah Richardson, the Director of Admissions and Scholarships, will uh, give us a welcome. And uh, Dean Hendrickson, Dean of the Hyder College of Business, will give the introductory comments. Uh, then we will give the introduction to the Ethics Challenge. And parents, you will watch this as well since you'll get to view the presentations later. It's really uh, very interesting. And then students will go uh, to this little presentation boot camp, all of those tips on, on how to present the best. And while they're doing that and working with their groups in that uh, group meetings, parents, we will have a special return on investment panel session. Uh, so we'll have um, a moderator, we'll have the career center, we will have alums of all ages, current students, and it really gets lively uh, and interactive with the audience and asking questions. So I uh, know that's something special we have set up while the students are off busy. Then at 11.15, you'll begin those uh, group presentations. As soon as uh, you presented, um, you will go to lunch. And parents, of course, you go to lunch as well. Uh, and then interviews and optional activities start at uh, 1 o'clock in the 1 to 4. So you will have likely a 30-minute interview time scheduled. Your interview really is only 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, we just schedule that to make sure there's ample time. Um, and then uh, we have um, the dinner which uh, hopefully you'll be able to join us. All of the criteria used to award these special programs and scholarships is the competition and the interview. We would love for you to join us for any of these additional activities we're going to talk about, but that is not criteria that we use um, to judge one way or another um, your interest level. So just know that many students... Um, have to travel and come a great distance and have to leave and you won't be penalized for that. But it really is a special dinner um, for the Hyder Fellows. It's our top achieving students. Um, we have had um, planning for this for quite some time. My favorite meeting last week was uh, selecting dessert. It is a plated dinner that is served uh, and we'll have a speaker, one of our uh, alums from Under Armour, who does sports marketing. She interned for a sports team, uh, I believe with Nike as well, and hearing a bit about her path. Uh, so that's uh, quite a fun experience. And then we have optional overnights. 
Um, if you want to stay on campus, great. Chat with students. I hear you don't always get a ton of sleep, which is why we're glad you've already completed these requirements. Many students stay um, in their parents' hotel room. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. If you're not already scheduled for an overnight, uh, we do have a waiting list moving forward for overnights. So if you're not going to come to campus and you indicated you were and we're going to do an overnight, please let us know so we can give that spot to another student. Uh, and then students on the wait list, uh, if you are not already scheduled, most students are already scheduled, but if you're not, uh, we really do hope to be able to do that as well. So the afternoon sessions, in addition to that interview in the one to four time period, there will be these optional activities and many of these have multiple sessions. So um, the dean, for example, will do two different sessions. Uh, so maybe you'll be in, uh, see you in the classroom uh, for one of those uh, and then you'll see his or vice versa. Um, there's financial aid, there are three or four different times to attend mass, there are campus tours throughout the one to four time period. Most people do go right at 1 p.m., so maybe think about um, doing that later in the, the day as well. You might get a little bit smaller group, residence halls, and again, all of this will be in your detailed itinerary uh, that you get uh, with that case study information on the 16th. So the optional Monday, about 30% of students um, stay for the Monday um, after special programs day. So we put together an individual itinerary for each student based on your interests. Just some of these activities are listed here. Um, and uh, all of these activities conclude by 12 p.m. Um, so you might be done at 10.30 based on your interests, or you might uh, then take a campus tour that would take you to that end time. But the last possible moment that you could be done is at 12 o'clock. So I know that's helpful for families when planning travel. Uh, so... Um, just know that uh, by noon those will all conclude. So we have the important dates here. I think we've gone over most of these, but just to go over again, uh, the case study releasing, um, the Skype interviews needing to get scheduled for those immediately um, on the 24th uh, at the end of the day, the case study video submission is due on your student portal. Uh, if you have uh, applied for the Christina M. Hickson Scholarship, uh, there is a financial need component of that scholarship, uh, and the FAFSA must be filed uh, by January 15th. Um, so that is uh, listed there. Then uh, you might be competing for multiple um special programs and even within the Hyder Fellows Program uh, you have both the Dean's Fellows Program and the Business Research Fellows Program. So after you go through and you'll interact with students in both programs throughout then you'll have the opportunity to say uh, this is my first preference and this is my second preference. Many students are applying for um, special programs that are part of the greater university as well, like the Global Scholars Program um, or Freshman Leadership Program. Just know we all work together to schedule those interview times so you can compete for everything. You can put your best foot forward and then decide after the fact um, of what your preference is and rate those in that order. Uh, then in early February, uh, scholarship decisions will be released. Uh, and then separately, a few weeks later, then special programs decisions are released. So that's kind of the second week of February is when you can expect that. So lots of fun things on the horizon. Uh, let's see, I think that we've had an opportunity to answer uh, most questions that have come in. 
Um, there were a few questions on number of scholarships. Um, we don't release that information um, based on uh, the desire of the families who endow those scholarships. We, there are multiple scholarships, but they are our most competitive. Uh, so just by being part of this elite group, you're in the top 5% of applicants nationwide. So it really is incredible. Um, and I hope you'll view this um, not only as an opportunity to compete for these awards, but also get to know perhaps your future classmates. Um, then we had questions as well um, on whether parents attend the dinner. It is a student-only dinner, so we had those restaurant recommendations in there. Uh, our current students will be sitting with uh, you and you'll learn more, and really it's very social as well. And I mentioned dessert, I think, so that's good. Uh, as far as uh, we've had some attire uh, questions, um, make sure that you can walk in your shoes. You'll be walking quite a ways. I know we had many uh, Band-Aids go out last year. Uh, so, um, I know I can't do a full day in heels for special programs day, so throw a pair of flats in your bag as well. We'll have place where you can store your things that's locked. Um, and then bring clothes to change into as well if you're participating in the overnight. So, after the dinner, you'll be in your formal dress for dinner, but... Uh, when that's done, then you'll be off doing different uh, activities and fun, uh, and I'm sure you'll want to be in comfy clothes. Uh, to that end, on the overnights, uh, if you are not flying uh, and you're driving, we recommend bringing a pillow and sleeping bag, um, towel, toiletries, things like that. Uh, if you are flying in, we will have um, pillow and sheets, blankets, and a towel, um, but you're responsible for all of your own toiletries. Uh, so just know um, that, you know, you need your own toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. Um, the dinner check-in starts at 530 uh, and you meet with your overnight host following that, um, hopefully 7.30. And then finally, uh, your interview times. I see some questions on that. Your interview times will be given to you uh, upon check-in. You'll have a personal, individualized schedule with your name on it. Uh, and then also information for our guests as well. But... Um, Everyone will receive their information that way. Uh, we do um, have a few students I know with special circumstances um, that we are trying to accommodate. If you have anything like that, let us know right away. Um, but again, working to make sure that uh, every student has an amazing experience. Hopefully this has been uh, helpful to go over these details. Uh, if you still have questions, my contact information is on the screen, as well as my intern team has been helping uh, for about a year now with this event, uh, nearly, I think, 11 months. Uh, so feel free to reach out to them as well. We have a student events director uh, who's helping me right next to me as we speak. Um, so a big thanks. Uh, so have a fantastic evening, and uh, we hope to see you on campus or review your submissions and Skype interview soon. So thank you so much.